Hello and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. Today's workout is an ultimate, absolute beginner, 15 minute workout. Now we're gonna take it nice and simple, 30 seconds on each exercise, followed by a 30 second rest. Focus on nice, slow tempo, good control, good form. I'll try and teach you as much as I can in terms of the technique points for each exercise, and hopefully you feel really good by the end of this. So if this is your first workout in a while, thank you for choosing to train with me. Let's get stuck in. The first exercise is gonna be marching on the spot, so it's going to be bringing our knees up and across the body for 30 seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. So knees up, just marching, sort of bring your knee across the body. If you want, you can put your hands up or if you can bring your knee to your elbow and just go at your own pace. Nice deep breaths, straight back and we go until we hear that bell. So it's 30 seconds on then we stop and recover for 30 seconds before going on to our next exercise. Here we are, we're doing it, we're moving. This is the start, it's good. We're here, right, three, two, one, and rest. Right, next exercise we're gonna do, essentially we're gonna sort of throw a punch, and as we punch, we're just gonna step sort of side to side, bringing that foot just up, and sort of behind, sort of comes up towards your bottom, so punch, step, nice long arms, so reach with the punches, and as you step, you just kick that heel back for 30 seconds. Are you ready? Here we go, second move. We're doing 15 different exercises. Punch and kick, punch and kick. Well done, great start. Remember, this is the start of your journey. If you haven't trained for a while, you're, you, know, you haven't been into it, think how much um, progress you're gonna make if you can stick to it a few times a week, build up your fitness, build up your strength and just believe in yourself, believe that you can get healthier and stronger, and you can. Here we go, last five seconds, four, three, two, one, and relax, good. So I'm trying to keep all the exercises low impact. If any of them don't feel suitable, you can switch them out um, for something else. You could do another march on the spot, um, another star jump or something, but next exercise is gonna be a squat. Now what we're gonna try and do, obviously, feet in a sort of shoulder width position, turn them out slightly, you don't have to get right down into a really deep squat. If you're just warming up the hips and you haven't used your legs for a while in this, in this way, just do sort of shallower reps, okay? Just sort of half reps if you like. Just bend the knees, straighten up. Let's go. So bend the knees and obviously the lower you go, the harder it's gonna be. Try and drive, drive through the heels of your feet. So not the balls of your feet, drive through the heels. And as you come up, really think about activate. Squeeze those quads, squeeze your glutes. Slowly lower yourself and repeat. And remember, you can do shorter reps if you're just warming up these legs, just waking them up. And as you get stronger and fitter, you'll have a bit more range, you can get down lower and get a bit deeper into the squat. Right, next up, number four, we're doing clap unders, which is essentially leg up in front and we clap the hands just underneath. So nice and slow. Um, Again, focus on your breathing. A lot of people tend to hold their breath on the exercise. Try and sort of get nice deep breaths, uh, back nice and straight, and just lift that knee up as high as you can in front, and clap the hands underneath. Here we go, this is exercise number four of 15. Lifting up. Come on, we're here, we're doing it. Let's finish it. If you have to miss one out because you need a bit more rest, that's fine. You might want to take a minute rest, but don't give up, don't turn it off. Stay with me, let's finish this together. It's 15 minutes, it's gonna go so quick. Okay, halfway, 15 seconds. So we lift the knee, clap underneath. That's it, good, 10 to go. Whew. Try and hit that timer if you can. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Right, good work, we're doing good. Next up, we've got star jumps. Now, if star jumps like this is too much impact and that's too difficult, do a modified version where you just step so step to the left, arms up, step to the right. So that's a bit more low intensity, obviously than a faster version of a star jump. So you can choose which one you want. I'm gonna do the modified ones where I just step, big step out to the side, arms above the head, let's go. Okay, come on, we're doing it. Sometimes the hardest part is just pressing play. I always say, if you come to this channel, you find a work, you press play, I'll get you through it, I'll motivate you through it. You've just gotta find that motivation to press it and know that you'll always feel better off. As I always say, people that are unfit and that feel tired all the time, 
I often think exercise is going to make them more tired, but it's the opposite. It gives you energy, it makes you feel amazing. Right, and it's going to pick up your mood and your energy. Three, two, one, and relax. It's so good for the mental health as well. We always talk about fat loss and losing weight, but truthfully, it's the things you can't see. It's your mood, your energy, your, your happiness. So you always think about that when you're having a really down day and you're low. Come back to exercise because it always picks you up. You never regret it and it, you always feel better. I believe that. Right, so next up, number six, we're going to do a power knee. So this right knee is going to come up like this. So we're just going to have left foot on the ground. Step back slightly and bring the knee up. Off we go. So you can do it slow. We can do it fast. One, two. We're just doing 30 seconds on this right knee first. So take your time. Stretch your arms up and drive that knee to the hands. Well done, 10 seconds left, and then we switch legs. Whew. Nice deep breaths. Doing really good, three seconds. Whew. Drive, and relax, good. We're now gonna switch legs. So right foot plants on the ground, and left leg now comes up. So this is a 15 minute workout, every exercise is different and you're gonna feel great then. You're gonna be so proud of yourself that you've come up today and you turned up and you're doing it. Right, here we go. Recover, get your breath, we're going in 10 seconds time. Arms up. Nice big stretch. And drive that left knee up as high as you can. Off we go. One of my favorite things is seeing people with no confidence and no fitness, like go on a journey. I used to love it when people turn up to my boot camp um, in Surbiton and Richmond and they had no confidence and a few weeks later they're doing press ups and burpees and you know you're you're just as capable as that as well if you come back keep turning up and keep putting the effort in with these workouts you know three four days a week whatever it is three two one and rest and also when it comes to exercise we always focus on body image and losing weight and the scales but this year do it for your mental health, do it to feel good. That's the real motivation because you'll always come back to it if you remember how good it makes you feel. Um, number eight, we're gonna do a higher plank. So you've got two options. You can either hold yourself in a plank like this, in a full plank, which is gonna really focus on our upper body strength and our abs, or you can drop the knees down. Same thing from there. So let's go from here if you want. And the aim here is to hold ourselves strong through the core. Obviously, if you are gonna come up, keep that back nice and flat. Squeeze the quad, squeeze your abs and keep it tight. If that's too much, just drop the knees. Um, and then if you wanna take it a little bit more from there, make it a little bit more challenging, just walk the hands out slightly. And we don't want this back dipping, so really engage those abs. Good, squeeze the abs. The further your hands are away, the worse the heart is gonna be. And relax, so that really is about upper body strength, but also your core. Good work, we've done eight. All right, next up, we've got number nine, which is gonna be high punches. So we're gonna punch up, sort of like a shoulder press if you were holding dumbbells. And we're just gonna punch up, nice and straight, long arms, really stretch up, nice and high, pull back down. So, 30 seconds on that one, you ready? Here we go, this is number nine. So punch up. You can do it slower. Or if you want to raise the heart rate a little bit more, obviously go a little bit quicker, but just keep those arms going straight above the head. Good work, 15 seconds, come on. Look at the hips going, look, woo! All right, let's go. High straights, last few seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Brilliant, right, that's number nine. Number 10, we're gonna try and do some front kicks now. So we're gonna go left leg first, so what we're gonna try and do is kick. So you can step back a tiny bit if you want and then we're gonna kick. So the foot just lands slightly behind so you're not completely in line like this. Step it back. One kick, two kicks and repeat. We're gonna do left leg then we switch. Okay, so left kick and back. Left kick, if it takes a bit of balance, you're loading this front leg. And if you can, kick it up. Kick that foot nice and high. Good, and repeat. If you're not obviously getting it high up, you could go get a bit lower, and then maybe go a bit faster. So 
So front kicks, kicking that left leg up as high as you can. Three, two, one. You'll feel that back leg, the standing leg, so the front leg is having to really stabilize and strengthen. So it's a great way of getting strength through both legs. You might have one side sort of more dominant than the other. It's quite normal. Um, so same again, left foot's on the floor. We're kicking that front leg up. For the next exercise, you might need a little step or a chair or a bench because we're going to do something like a, called a tricep dip. So we'll be doing one of those. So you can just grab a little, you know, end of, edge of the bed or whatever it is. But let's go. So we're kicking up. Next exercise is going to be those tricep dips for the back of the arms. So yeah, if you can get a little step or a bench or um, edge of a sofa, it's fine. Right, keep kicking. Should feel a little sweat coming on. You're, you know we're lifting our heart rate. We're working our muscles here. This is a great start if you're a beginner or recovering from you know, an injury or an illness. It's great, it's a good start. It's the beginning. And rest, right, so this is exercise number 12. We're gonna try and do some tricep dips. So again, you want something like a bench or a edge of a sofa and the, the further your feet are away from you, the harder it is. So you bring them a little bit closer and the aim here is not to come away from the step or bench, like come like, like that. Keep your elbows tucked in and your back almost keep brushes past this surface so that you're really tucked in. You bend those elbows and you push. So this is a tricep dip for the back of your arm. Let's go. So if it's too difficult, bring the feet closer. So bend and straighten those arms. Really control it nice and slow. You'll feel this straight away in the back of those arms. That's it, elbows tucked in and push. It's a hard exercise, but you can't cheat, it's really good. And again, if you can't dip right the way down, just do little shallower reps. Oh, it burns. Last one. Oh. So there you go, you feel that right there. If your elbows are flared out, you don't feel it as much, really keep the elbows, like, rather than go out with them, tuck them right in behind you, tuck them in, back nice and straight against there, and then push up. It's gonna really do them right. Okay, next up, stand a bit wider in like a sumo stance position. And basically gonna reach forward and pull back. So imagine you're pulling like a rope towards you. So nice wide stance, bend the knees a little bit, load those up, hands out in front and squeeze back. So imagine you're pulling like a weight or a cable towards you and imagine you're squeezing your shoulder blades back together. So stretch forwards and squeeze. Obviously the, the higher you stand up the less Strain on the legs, the lower you go, the harder it's gonna be. So load those quads, squeeze, squeeze, good, come on. Last few reps, stretch, pull, stretch, pull, oh. So you would've felt that in the legs then. Okay, we've got two more exercises. I'm out of breath, All right. So next time I'm gonna do is a reverse lunge now. We're, we're aiming to try and drop our back knee down, but if that's too much, just literally just step. Back here, just step, reverse lunge, sort of backward step. Obviously, the more you bend that back knee, the harder it's gonna be on these legs. So, choose your angle, get down as low as you can. You can put your hands on your hips if you like. So step, keeping that chest up, shoulders back, and think about really loading the legs, driving through the heel of the front foot. So nice straight back, balance, slow them down. Do what you can, load the legs, get the strength there. Doing really well. Come on, we've only got one more move after this. Last 30 second push and rest. So final one, this is what I call a slow motion burpee. Now, if you can't do these, you can do another march on the spot, another clap unders, another star jumps. But if you fancy it, it's hands on the ground like this. You step back into the plank Step forwards and up. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Final move, last 30 seconds. Let's lift our heart rate. We're nearly there. Let's go. Remember, if you can't do this, you can do another marching or another tricep dip, whatever you fancy from the previous exercises. But this is the last one. It's up, down, up, down. And hands up, good. Stand up, 15 seconds. Good, nice deep breath. Step back 
and up. Right, let's do the last one together, ready? Last one, hands down on the ground. Three, two, one, and, and we're done. So look, heart rate's elevated, great little session. 15 moves, 15 minutes. I really hope you enjoyed that. Well done, honestly, be proud of yourself. I know it's hard getting up and going and starting, and sometimes if you're really overweight or you haven't trained for months, it's just that motivation to start is really challenging. So well done for choosing to train me today. Day one, today is a day of progress. So I hope to see you back here soon. There's so many more workouts here on the Body Coach TV. So look back in the archive, there's beginner, you know, intermediate, advanced, there's kettlebells, there's dumbbells, there's so many. Um, and if you want more low impact, kind of easier ones, just type in beginner, beginner workouts or um, low impact or easy on the kneesy, another one, uh, which is great. So thanks again for tuning into the Body Coach TV. Please hit subscribe. I post new workouts every week. They're free, they're here, I'm always there for you. And then well done, and I'll see you soon for another workout right here on the Body Coach TV.